So this was the rationale for metabolic therapy, is to exploit the mitochondrial defects that result from the Warburg effect. So the idea here is to establish therapeutic ketosis, elevate blood ketone levels, use a uh, nutrition strategy to decrease blood glucose, glycolysis, and gluconeogenesis. These are all things that the ketogenic diet accomplishes. It also suppresses insulin levels, which drive cancer cell growth and increase the, the tissue level of oxygen. So we find that hyperoxygenating tumor tissue increases free radical production, which can help kill the cancer. And it also turns on, uh, it turns off rather, oncogenes that drive cancer growth. So we asked the question, can therapeutic ketosis and hyperbaric oxygen be used to treat cancer? Now my colleagues at uh, Boston College and also at Barrow Neurological Institute, uh, Thomas Seifert and Adrian Scheck, has, have done some elegant work showing that the ketogenic diet can suppress tumor growth in various models. So we wanted to combine the ketogenic diet and hyperbaric oxygen together. And what we demonstrated is that the combination of the ketogenic diet and hyperbaric oxygen can prolong survival in mice with metastatic cancer. So we, use, we carefully chose a model of, uh, of cancer to study that's very aggressive and that relates to the human disease that causes cancer. Most cancer studies are done with an implanted tumor that doesn't metastasize to all the organs of the body. This particular model is very aggressive when the tumor cells are implanted. There's rapid systemic metastasis to all areas and even the brain. And within about three to four weeks, the animal succumbs to the tumor burden. Now we show that with a standard diet and hyperbaric oxygen, there's a delay in the metastatic spread with the ketogenic diet, there's also a decrease in, in metastatic spread and tumor growth, but the combination of the ketogenic diet and the hyperbaric oxygen is an extremely effective approach for managing, metabolic, uh, managing metastatic cancer in this model. We've also demonstrated recently, we, we published that ketones themselves inhibit cancer uh, viability in vitro. So even under high glucose, if we grow cancer cells, we can stain the dead ones and stain the live ones. And uh, in parallel to that, we grew cancer cells with high glucose and high ketones. And we saw a greater percentage of dead cells in our cell cultures. And we saw a suppression of uh, cancer cell proliferation. So this was even in the presence of high glucose. And we know that ketones can turn off or turn down glycolysis. They also activate various genes that may suppress uh, cancer growth. And we're looking into that now, mechanistically what's going on here. So to take it one step further, we did a combination of metabolic therapy uh, that was the ketogenic diet plus ketone supplementation plus hyperbaric oxygen. And essentially we showed that the combination of these together had the greatest effect overall. And we were able to, so with the control diet, which is high carbohydrate diet, this is a, uh, a survival curve with that diet. And here's a survival curve with the combination of these things together. annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. From the website doctorstotrust.com, you can view the summary notes and share or print the PDF of those notes.